Hey guys, this is Ross, and uh, the season's ending here. And what you're looking at now is pepper plants that I dug up. Um, these are two varieties that I really enjoy, and I think that they're very productive here. We have on the right, Carmen, which is a much um, thicker, uh, thicker plant. It's a stronger plant. We started this one indoors and transplanted it. And then on the right, or on the left, I'm sorry, is two Jimmy Nardello plants that we we planted actually directly from seed. Um, and I decided, because I like them so much, we're going to try to overwinter them. And this is a technique that people have been using actually for quite some time. Um, a lot of people will just straight up grow them in containers because they do just so well. Um, I'm going to show you guys where I had them this year right up against the house very warm microclimate they did phenomenally um, you know the Carmen put out a ton of peppers even the Jimmy Nardella which we direct seeded was able to put out some peppers you know the tomatoes are doing equally as well they're still kicking but I basically took out all the pepper plants you guys can see some of the stems, we actually cut out some pepper plants. I can only overwinter so many. And you know what? I think Carmen and Jimmy Nardello are just superior pepper varieties for this area in terms of productivity. They're also very good red tomato, uh, red peppers. They have really a uh, fantastic flavor. Um, you know, this is kind of the time to do that. I think it's good to let the the plant kind of adjust dig up as many roots as you can I should have documented the process of me digging it up but to be honest with you I didn't do a great of a job as I would have liked and you'll notice that uh, it's pretty wet out today this is a really good thing you know just like taking off your air layers um, just like planting trees you know, you want to do this, guys, before the rain comes in. Give these guys a little bit of help adjusting to the new environment, the lack of roots. And then what I've done, similar to an air layer, is I've cut off a lot of the the stems and kind of trimmed the, trimmed the plants back as much as I could, hopefully removing a lot of the, uh, the leaves, uh, the surface area of the leaves you know, as well. So I'm gonna see how these plants do tomorrow when it's just a bit a bit more dry, the humidity drops a little bit and we'll see how these guys are adjusting. But there's also peppers on here, but you wanna take off all the peppers, which I've mostly done. And we'll see how these plants do over the next couple days. Uh, and then we're gonna take them inside once they've adjusted, I think, and they're doing okay. We'll bring them inside. We can put them either in a warm location. Maybe I'll put them in my window, in a sunny window, somewhere in the house, guys. Or you can put them in a, a much cooler place, but you gotta keep them uh, pretty warm. And if you keep, I'm sorry, you don't wanna, you can put them in a cooler place, I wanna clarify. But you don't wanna let them drop below probably 40. Um, you know, I put them underneath the sunroom here with some of my dormant fig trees and it was below 32 probably for just a day and they got killed off. So it's important to keep them above like 40 I think is a nice number. But if you're going to keep them at cooler temperatures, you really want to make sure that the soil is well draining and you're not over watering them because you can kill the roots but with too much water, you know, you'll get root rot. The metabolism of the plants are not moving when the temperatures are cooler you know these pepper plants will kind of cease to grow whereas if i had them in a window a sunny south facing or west facing window um, at room temperature these guys will probably continue to grow for most of the season most of the winter season inside and at which point you will have to water them much more frequently so that is the video guys i think i've covered most of it i'm sure there's better maybe a better way to do this um you know there's probably a better way of me just digging them up i, I probably could have got more roots 
out of these plants and would have healthier, stronger plants going into the winter. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, what this will do, and I didn't mention this in the beginning, but, you know, this will give you guys really strong and healthy pepper plants for those of you who live in shorter season areas so that when we plant them in the ground in one of these garden beds next year they will be really far along and very established and actually will put out many more peppers um, than even if you just started it indoors you know from seed and transplanted it out this these are going to have much larger stronger root systems and this way i can have more uh less pepper plants in less space but i'll have more peppers so there you go that's the video guys hope you enjoyed this one many more things to come in the backyard about peppers um and also overwintering figs so i'll talk to you all soon take care